Now it is hot, it is humid, and there's very little we can do about that. Keep in mind we are all in the same boat. It doesn't get any cooler back here than it is in the in the front. So we're all going through this all together. But it's a 25 minute ride and about the only thing I can do is go a little bit faster. If you guys don't mind if I cut the trip maybe five minutes less, that would bring the draft onto the boat, keep us a little more cool. But that will shorten our trip. And if you are okay, i like to see a thumbs up because I don't want to make this decision all on my own. I want you guys to agree with it. Thank you. I think we've all decided for anyone opposed to this, we're, we're sorry. We're, we're not going to go by the minority. We're going to go by the speed. We're going to get a nice little draft coming onto the boat to make things a bit more comfortable. But during this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to share with everyone some history. History of San Antonio. Now, this is a city packed with history. San Antonio is among the earliest European establishments in the country. San Antonio was established 330 years ago. It's in fact older than the United States. It's been a running, operating city for a very long time. It is the seventh largest city today. San Antonio has two and a half million people. There are three major languages spoken in our city. English, Spanish, and German. You would say, via the comment, to say bienvenidos, welcome. And then we have a little bit of French. You would say bienvenue. So you know what's one of the upgrowing uh, groups here in San Antonio? It's Hindu. So I'm gonna say namaste. Of course, English and Spanish is what predominates the languages here. Text, mix. Now I'd like to tell you about the boat that we are on. This boat is all recycled aluminum. It can carry for about three years. What the unique thing about this boat, it has not one single drop of fuel in it. It runs on batteries, like our cell phone. Twelve batteries underneath our seats. We plug them in, charge them six to eight hours, and it's good for about ten hours the next day. This boat will run ten hours today. You know what? And I'm going to be on it for ten hours. Meaning, I'm going to be out in the sun for 10 hours. You know, can I give you guys a suggestion? I can see the crowd here. Not too many of you are wearing a hat. I see a gentleman up in the front that he's well prepared. Now, let me tell you, here in Texas, we wear hats. Not because we want to look like cowboys, but because we want to protect ourselves like a cowboy. Because wearing a hat is like having your own umbrella without using your hands. Now, that's pretty clever, isn't it? I suggest that if you're going to be walking around all day, you don't have to be a cowboy to wear a hat. You want to be protected by the sun. Hey, mate, look, you make you look like a cowboy. Though. That's the effect of it. <laughs> but um, you want to get shelter and drink water. You don't want to wait to be thirsty because that's probably when you're probably already in trouble. So you want to drink water and sip water throughout the day. Now, we're going to cover two and a half miles. For the most part, we are going to be in the natural pool of the river. If you're thinking this is man-made, don't face any bets on that. This river is 100% natural. No added sugar or preservatives. This river starts two miles north of the city and it comes right out of the ground, travels into the downtown area, and here we've been holding it back for some years. Make sure that we have our water level at all the time at this level where we have it now. But it continues. This river flows all the way to the Gulf of Mexico, north of Corpus Christi. It's a real river, not a man-made one. Do you know how old this river is? Wow. Over 10,000 years old. Wow. There was woolly mammoths and saber-toothed tigers roaming the earth when this river was born. It was the last of the Ice Age. It was created by the Edwards Aquifer. It's an underground lake that was filled in with glacier that can take five, six hundred years. There's cypress, the trees I'm talking about. These trees can live well over 1,000 years. Whoa. What does casa mean? What does Rio mean? House on the River, that's the name of this restaurant here. Casa Rio, House on the River. This building was built in 1777. One year after the independence of the United States, meaning one year after the United States was considered. We have the Hilton, 
Palacio del Rio. I'm going to say that in German now. The Hilton Palacio del Rio. I can say that in several languages. <laughs> this building can be found in the Guinness Books of Records. Let's take a look.